What is up everyone, James from Act Audio, and today we are cutting our tweeters, which I gotta go grab into our grills. So let me go grab the tweeter. All right, so we have our grills, new diamond replacement grills for my 2022 Road Glide. And we have the diamond um, MS75T is the model number. I have to double check that, but I'm pretty confident. I'll put it in the uh, comments below. Uh, and we are going to embed this just like that, right in the here. So this is a metal grill and we have to use a diamond hole saw and it's not really hard to do. Um, I'm gonna create a template so that they're uniform on both sides. And I created this very, you know, unprofessional um, bracket that we're gonna cut them in. So this is gonna slide right into it. Just like that. So it holds it in place and holds it steady. I mean, that's pretty solid in there. It holds it in place and holds it steady. Put the template on top and we're gonna drill the hole. Then we're gonna take, take it, the other one, we're gonna flip the template over and we're gonna drill the hole so that they are in the exact same spot on both sides. All right, so I built my template. Very simple, it's gonna lay over. I actually drilled it out to get my center spot. If you're making this on your own, you could actually just drill this completely out. Um, but I actually drilled my hole because that's where I wanted it. Then I put the template over and from the backside put my hole through so I knew where it went and then cut out the cardboard. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna take our other one and we're going to Again, lay it on, cut our hole. Then we're gonna take the other one and we're gonna flip this around and put it on. So we have then the two holes in the exact same spot. And uh, I'm gonna correct myself earlier, it's the MO75T is the tweeter. Uh, I picked this one because of the shallow size to go in and it's not gonna, you know, I'm not, I don't have to worry as much about it intruding with the speaker behind it. So, we got the, the speaker grill in the bracket I made and the cardboard template, we're gonna put it on. We have the diamond, I don't know if I went over this already, but this is a diamond hole saw cutter. So I'm using this one specifically to go through the metal smoother. And we are just going to come in. like that. I got our hole. I have a little tool I'm going to use to kind of deburr it to make it not so sharp. But now we're going to take our other one. We're going to slide it in just like that one. Flip the template around. Put it on. Line it up and do the same thing. two grills with uh, an even hole on each side to go back in. So I am gonna go get the rest of the stuff and we will come back. All right, so we're back. We got our hole at the tweeter, very simple. Um, so I actually probably should have told you I am using a two inch uh, diamond hole saw. And this is gonna go in. You can see, I mean, it almost, drops in 100%, but I do gotta add a little, try, try to see, you can see it. So you can see it's a little through, just add a little pressure and it fits right in, right? It's like a perfect fit. Now it does spin and move, but it's got the four screw holes. So I am going to add the screws to hold it in place. Um, you could add a nut and bolt, whatever you choose. I'm gonna try the screws that it came with because I think that they will thread in to the existing hole is pretty good and do exactly what I need them to do. Um, but we'll play with it from there. And then we're gonna go to the bike. We're gonna wire up the uh, positive and negative to the bike side. I am gonna create quick connects, but these also come with uh, crossovers. I'm not using the crossovers because I'm using a DSP active. So I'm gonna allow them to do my crossing over for me. 
All right, so finished product before it goes on the bike. Well, you can see I added the four screws. Holds it in there very good. Um, I didn't put anything on the back, but you know, I don't have to worry about it. You could if you wanted to, but that's it. It sits in there nice and flush, my two horns. So I'm gonna go over, get the wiring done, and we will show you the rest. All right, so here is the finished, finished product. Um, we got pretty late yesterday and I had to get to an event. Um, but, so I missed some shots for you guys, but here's the um, speakers in the thing. You know, these still pop out just like factory. So I can do it with one hand. What I did on the back side is I pushed the terminals in, as you can see. I added some, um, this is special, like a Tesla tape, but it's really tough. So it prevents being cut. Oh, look at that, I'm missing a clip. I'm gonna have to get that fixed. One of my white clips fell off. So, didn't even realize it, but I'll get it fixed. It still holds it in place really well. And I'll mess with it after I stop filming, but oh, hold on. All right, we're back. That was hard to do with one hand, but you can see, you know, it fits in nicely. Uh, if I could redo it, and I'll probably go back and redo my template, I'd actually probably move it down just a little bit so there's a little bit more of a gap here. Um, really not a big deal. You probably would have never noticed unless I said something, but it still looks fantastic. They scream. I had them cranked last night. Love them. Come down, check it out, do it yourself. PM if you have any questions, guys.